TV screen. <laughs> and the patio is the frog pond. Lots of frogs. But you can't see none of them. Patio. The old bus. Off and away, looking through the side, up towards the house. The burn pit. <laughs> Hmm, headlights. Everybody's favorite band, the Man Whores. Yesterday's turkey. Bamboo, the studio. The old shed. And old glory. Now this is this the studio. This was the dark room. Here's the control booth. I'm not sure how to turn the lights on. Maybe. Uh -huh. There's the board. Some of the control stuff. This is a little different than my little home studio, which is not quite the same. That is, just to give an idea, here's the chair. And you can't stretch your arms out across that board. And nobody knows exactly what everything's for on it. Here is the two little boxes that run the thing. This here with all the little lights. And here's in the, the backup, I guess. There's more darkness and stuff you can't see, but just a, a massive amount of stuff to run that. Here's the wiring for it. It's like, yikes, I forgot, where does this one go? And then, ah, it goes there, oh no! Some of that stuff's not hooked up. We need to tell Bill that. Some of these wires are not connected. Anyhow, and that's the rest of the, I guess this is his uh, repair room and stuff. The workshop looks like my dining room table. And back into here. See off in from the control room and the board. There's the music room where the magic happens. The big magic happens there. Over here is that's the someday uh, vocal isolation booth. 
can look in here. Oh. Known far and wide, it's the Tallywhacker brand. You can tell it's, well, it's a Mortone. This was an early one, serial number two. And it is the poet's tool. So that's it.